Hello. Hi. Thank you for joining me on my learning block. You're back. Subtraction videos. Subtraction algorithms. Subtraction, subtracting, 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 taking away, doing this type of stuff. All right. Thank you again for joining me. Calm. All right. So today we're going to work on subtraction or subtracting multi-digit numbers and we're going to use a set algorithm which is basically a set of steps or routine or processes or process we're going to start working on it all right um and i'm going to be honest it probably hasn't changed a ton from back when we were doing it or those who are older than we you know i'm not pointing any fingers or anything so we are working on it um the subtraction thing again and it should be fun but in this video make sure you understand that we are regrouping okay it is a point where we are going to borrow borrow and honestly in class i really like using the three little pigs in this um but that's neither here nor there i will tell you this warding this is a surgeon general warding Make sure you keep this brief, all right? Use um, smaller numbers. Right here, I'm gonna use two three-digit numbers, but it is fine when you're introducing this to your child to work with two-digit no, two numbers or, or smaller. Give them something that they can, if they need to, manipulate um, so they can see the validity in their answer. But when they start building, so do you. All right, so let's get started. Let's get this show on the road. All right, so we have the number 837 and we're going to subtract 289. Um, I have a teacher that always says 837 what? All right, but it doesn't matter. Your child is understanding the concept. They already know the concept. You've helped them with the concept. They've learned it in class. And now we are working on the procedure. How, let, let's speed this thing up, right? Sometimes, sometimes you have to. Now, um, as usual, when we read, we read from the left to the right, but when it comes to math um, with the procedures and the algorithms, you can still work from left to right, but we're going to work from right to left because what we want is the minimal, the most smallest room for error, okay? So working from the right to left really will help. If you want to learn how to help your child work from the left to right, check out another video working subtraction problems multi-digit from the left to right it, it, it helps too but i'm going to focus on from the right to left at the moment all right so we're going to start in the tens place the grateful tens place and we're going to say seven minus whoa minus nine and now early on i want you to tell your child that that is very hard to do and what i want you to do is i want you to give your child seven of any object or whatever numbers in the ones place um i like doing pencils i give them seven pencils and they hold seven pencils in their hand or either money right money is always fun all right but seven pencils and then they hold them and you say all right what's seven my all right give me nine because i'm gonna tell you the second they see seven minus nine they're gonna say two because they they're wired to think in reverse they're thinking all right obviously I'm taking the nine from the seven from the nine but really it's reverse so give them seven pencils and and nicely say now give me nine and they'll go one two three seven uh, oh, they won't have any more and then you say well how could you get more pencils and they'll say well I could borrow and yes that is exactly what we're going to do so seven does not have enough so he goes next door to his friend and he says, what do you want? And he says, I need to borrow one. One, what is one? Really, one is 10. But we're going to say one to kind of help out with time. So he borrows. And this becomes a two because he is one less. He is given 10 away. So it becomes 20 instead of 30. And he becomes a 17. Oh, that is a terrible one. Now, notice. Some people mark off the seven and put the one up here floating. It can get confusing, especially if you don't have the best writing and your child is really not a great writer and they're not very neat, which happens for some reason sometimes. If it doesn't, I'm telling you, 
help your child out, teach them to just go ahead and draw that one right beside that seven. So now they look at it and they say, oh, that's 17, of course. And so 17 minus nine, they can do that, equals eight. Ooh, yeah, got it. All right, so we have our 17 minus nine equals eight. And now we have this two floating around here. So we're gonna have two minus eight. And again, your child's gonna say, well, we have to borrow. And so they'll go next door. Can I borrow 100, really? And he'll say, yeah, sure, because we live in a nice town, right? Very nice. And so he will become 100 less, or one less. Seven, and he will bring over the one. So now they can see that's a two. And if they really need, they can scratch this one out so it gets out of the way. And now we have 12 minus eight, and it equals four, I think. Yeah, four. And so we're finally here on the final step, at least I think it's the final step, one of the final steps. And we have our, uh, we have our two, and then we have our, sorry, we have our two and we have our seven. Seven minus two uh, equals five. And so we're at the end of this road in which we have, oh, I'm sorry, I knew something happened. Yeah, there we go, seven minus two, we had our four. Seven minus two it equals five. So the answer is 548, I do believe. And everything is all fine and dandy. And so again, we brought our one over here and it became 17. We took away two, borrowed, all that stuff. Check the video out again. Now, the part that's most important because a lot of students just say, that's my answer and I'm leaving it there. Get your child early on to check over their work. They can either do it using the place values, the flats, rods, and units, or they can just simply add these two numbers, add 548 and add 289. And they'll figure it out if these two numbers are the numbers that are up here it works and i'm sorry for this one still being here he really shouldn't so just pretend he's there so what we're going to do is we're going to add 548 plus 289 9 plus 8 equals 17 7 Fourteen. Um, four plus eight equals twelve, and five plus two equals seven. I'll put my zeros here just to help myself out. Um, zero plus zero plus seven equals seven. That equals three. That equals eight. Eight hundred thirty-seven. Yes, it works. Uh, 289, yay, it works, and 548. So, problem is checked and solved. Great job. All right, so again, when you're working with your child, make sure you use smaller numbers starting off and grow as they grow. Uh, and you'll really see some stride. And, and remember to make sure they're checking their work at the same time. Swing by if you got some time, download a resource, print it out, help your child out right there in front of you in your own home. You can check it right after and make them feel good about themselves. All right, again, thank you for joining me on my learning block. Keep learning and I will see you next time.